Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube educational channel Case and Step. Today we will discuss an important topic related to a critical substance which is hidden in our food and considered as potential cause of cancer which is called acrylamide. So keep watching to get more details. So let us go. Let's know more about acrylamide. Acrylamide is a chemical substance formed by a reaction between amino acids and sugars. It typically occurs when foods with high starch content such as potatoes, root vegetables and bread are cooked at high temperatures over 1 to 0 degrees Celsius in a process of frying, roasting or baking. It isn't added to food but it is a natural byproduct of the cooking process and has always been present in our food. Let's move to next part of our video which discuss how acrylamide is formed. During high temperature cooking, a process called the Maillard reaction occurs. The naturally present amino acid, sugar and water, combine to create a food's characteristic like flavor, texture, color and smell. This process can also produce acrylamide. The duration and temperature of cooking determines the amount of acrylamide produced. As time and temperature increased, as more and more acrylamide produced. In 2002, Swedish studies revealed that high levels of acrylamide formed during the frying or baking of potato and cereal products and studies in laboratory animals suggested acrylamide had the potential to cause cancer in humans. World Health Organization, the European Food Safety Authority, EFSA, and UK Scientific Advisory Committees also suggests that acrylamide is a human carcinogen which has the potential to cause cancer by interacting with the genetic material DNA in cells. In 2015, the EFSA published its first full risk assessment of acrylamide in food which confirms that acrylamide levels found in food potentially increases the risk of cancer for all age groups. You can find link for EFSA risk assessment in video description. After all of previous studies and results, now it's become clear why acrylamide become area of focus from all health organizations and authorities. Acrylamide is found in wide range of foods including roasted potatoes and root vegetables, chips, crisps, toast, cakes, biscuits, cereals and coffee. The best practices that you must follow at home are Rule number 1. Aim for a golden yellow color or lighter not dark one. When frying, baking, toasting or roasting starchy foods like potatoes. Rule number two. Check for cooking instructions on the pack and follow carefully when frying or oven cooking packaged food products. Instructions are designed to cook the product correctly to ensure that you aren't cooking starchy foods for too long or at temperatures which are too high. Rule number three. Don't keep raw potatoes in the fridge. Storing raw potatoes in the fridge may lead to the formation of more free sugars in the potatoes and can increase overall acrylamide levels. Rule number four. Eat a varied and balanced diet. New European Union legislation comes into force in April 11, 2018 concerning the amount of acrylamide in foods with benchmark levels being set for various products. The law requires food businesses to identify potential sources of acrylamide and demonstrate they have taken appropriate action to reduce the levels of acrylamide according to the principle of A. L. A. R. A. As low as reasonably achievable. The food industry has undertaken a lot of work to identify and implement measures to reduce acrylamide levels in food. 
food and kuro, which represents the food and drink industry as interests at the European and international level, has produced a document known as the Toolkit that outlines ways of reducing acrylamide in food manufacture for a variety of foods and processes. You can find link for Toolkit in video description. Here we are finish our video. Hope it was helpful for you and save your health. If you interested in our content, hit like for video and make share for it and subscribe our channel to get updates.